if something ails or bothers you. It's not the thing itself, but the importance you attach to it, and that you have the power to change. Uh, black belt in four different martial arts means I can punch in the face in four languages. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Done a couple of marathons, uh, no sand, but it was quite warm, and I did it in, in under a day, which is, which is great. Uh, so our quest as a leader, or simply as a human being, is to find our voice, and it's our values and ideals that define our voice, what you stand for, what you stand up for in life. Emotional intelligence is the main key to success. The ability to choose our emotion based on the behaviour we want. Often the people I speak to don't have mental health routines and yet they expect to go out and tackle the world without getting themselves into the right route. You wouldn't see an athlete doing that, would you? Because you're not worth anything to anybody until you've sorted yourself out. We have to start with ourselves. A positive mindset leads to great feelings no matter what the facts are, which leads to the behaviours we want. Yeah? The terrible one leads to excuses. Just not speaking is not listening. <laughs> you're not listening, no you're not. I was just, not listening, no you're just being quiet. You're just thinking I'll just let you get to the end. <laughs> what most of us do when someone asks us to do something different is we look into our currently held belief system and go, I wonder if I can do that. I wonder if I've got a belief in there that says I can do that. Oh no, we look up, we go, I can't do that. It says so in my belief system. We've got to be interested in what makes people tick. Make people feel loved and needed. It's the key to it all. And only then can we actually start to empower people to be better.